Hello everybody. In this video, I would like to explain to you Okay, how to use the Fourier transform pairs? Let's say we have a, we have an impulse signal delta t. Based on the table, it is very obvious that the Fourier transform of the delta t equal to one. Now, what is the Fourier transform of three delta t minus five? Okay, let's see the Fourier transform of a step function, a constant, and a signal function. Let's consider ft, which is a step function. The amplitude of ft when t is positive is 2 so we know that the Fourier transform of ft will produce f omega and according to the Fourier transform pairs for the step function based on the signal ft we have to put a equal to 2 and then we can find the f omega using the Fourier transform pairs. Now let's consider GT which is a constant signal gt equal to 8 and the Fourier transform of gt is 2 pi multiply with 8 delta omega which is 16 pi delta omega Now let's consider HT, a signal function, and based on the HT straight away that we know H omega equal to 2 over J omega. Now let's use the Fourier from pairs. To find the Fourier transform of exponent functions We have several exponent functions Which are 8 Multiply with e to the power of minus 3 t u t t multiply with e to the power of minus 5 t u t t power of 3 multiply with e to the power of minus 3 t u t and 10 multiply with e to the power of 2 modulus t based on the four telephone pairs decaying exponent function the Fourier transform of h multiplied with e to the power of minus 3 t u t is equal to 8 over 3 plus j omega because the capital A is 
8 and uh, a is equal to 3 just replace the values for the second case or second example we just need to identify the value of small a which is equal to 5 then we know that the for transform of t power of a minus 5 t ut is 1 over 5 plus t omega squared third example of exponent function for this example we need to identify the value of n and the value of a because t is to the power of 3 then the value of n should be 4 and a in this example is equal to 3 so the Fourier transform is 6 over 3 plus j omega to the power of 4 for this symmetrical decaying exponent functions example we need to identify the value of capital A and the value of small a from the input signal the capital A value should be ten and the small a value should be two Now let's consider the Fourier transform of an exponent functions again exponent functions um, with uh, cosine functions and sine function m1t again an, another example of an exponent function which is equal to e to the power of 100 jt and based on the Fourier transform pairs m1 omega is equal to 2 pi delta omega minus 100 m1 omega is equal to 2 pi delta omega minus 100 because omega naught equal to 100 in this example let's consider another signal m2t which is equal to cos 100t the cosine for the cosine function we just need to identify the value of omega naught based on the input signal or time domain signal in order to find the Fourier transform so the Fourier transform is in this case is pi multiply with delta omega minus 100 plus delta omega plus 100 not much different for the case of sine function in this case we have the time domain signal m3t equal to sine 100t again we just need to identify the value of omega naught which is in this example omega naught equal to 100 in order to find the Fourier transform
let's see another example of the Fourier transform of cosine and sine functions. In this case, the cos function and the sine functions are multiplied with a unit step. What happened to the signal in frequency domain? For the simple example, cos 5t multiply with ut based on the Fourier transform pairs it's very straight away we just need to identify the value of omega naught which is in this case equal to 5 and write the rest of the equation of the Fourier transform Also, this table shows the Fourier transform pairs for the sine omega naught t u t. So, based on the example, when the input signal is sine sixty u t, we just need to replace omega naught with six. Then, write the whole equation of Fourier transform. Okay, now let's see the Fourier transform of a square function. A square function can be mathematically written as a rectangular t over tau. The amplitude is a, and the duration of non-zero values of square functions. Uh, from minus tau over 2 to tau over 2 and let's consider yt as a square function in time domain non-zero values are from minus 5 to 5 and the, ampli the amplitude of yt from minus 5 to 5 is 10, the rest are zeros. In this example, mathematically, we can write yt equal to 10 rectangular t over tau. We should replace tau with 10 in order to get 5, similar to the question or similar to the input signal yt. So tau equal to 10, the amplitude A also equal to 10, yt, the Fourier transform of yt is y omega, and we can use the equation A tau sinc omega t over 2 to find the y omega. Just replace a with 10 and tau with 10 as well. So from this example, the forward transform of a rectangular function will produce a sinc function. How about the forward transform of triangular signal?
in this example we have ST as a rectangular signal based on the shape of the triangular signal we need to identify the value of A and tau what's the value of A and tau? A is equal to 3 and tau is equal to 2 so mathematically ST can be written as 3 triangular T over 2 and the for a transform of a triangular signal will produce a sin square signal so we can just write the for a transform as omega based on the equation by using a proper value of A and tau that's all I hope to see you in the next video